Well, this was supposed to be a compromise plan to address the border crisis as well as provide funding for both Israel and Ukraine. And even though there could be a vote on this as early as tomorrow, the opposition is growing. There is a clear consensus that something needs to be done at the border, but the deal coming out of the Senate may not cut it. When I say it's dead on arrival, I mean dead on arrival. The Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, doesn't mince words on this. He and a growing chorus of Republicans say the plan, in truth, could lock in elevated numbers at the border permanently. They're going to have $4 billion to hire a bunch of uh, so-called asylum uh, officers who are going to rubber stamp a whole bunch of claims up to 5,000, which if you multiply that would be up to 1.8 million. And on the other hand, some progressives argue it all goes too far. It is a set of exclusionary uh, enforcement only provisions that Donald Trump and Stephen Miller cooked up on a whiteboard, used under the Trump administration. Um, they didn't work. President Biden is fully behind the plan, though, and one of its architects is pleading for compromise ahead of a test vote tomorrow. This is the beginning product to be able to put out and say, we've negotiated this. Now let's talk about where we are. Let's open up for amendments in the Senate, open up for amendments in the House. Let's actually have dialogue on this to be able to see what we can do to be able to fix it. When the eyes have it. And in the meantime, just last night, a House committee agreed to move to a full House vote to impeach Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the border crisis. And we expect that full House vote on impeachment later today. It will be a real test for the very slim Republican majority in the House. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.